Good morning, life in Florida. Well, today I'm at the McClarity Treasure Museum here in Vero Beach, Florida. Behind me is the beautiful Indian River Lagoon. Let's check this place out. McClarity Treasure Museum. It's a Sunday morning about 10 a.m. They're just opening up the site of survivors and salvagers camp, the 1715 fleet. Look at that. Oh, look at this. This is the 12 pounder cannon, which was found a half mile offshore from this building in Vero Beach in 1715 from a Spanish shipwreck. Look at that. The sword has a long double edged blade for cutting or thrusting and was a favorite weapon in hand to hand combat. Now here's a piece of wood from one of the ships from 1715 fleets. There's four holes in the corners of this wood, and that's where the pegs would go in to secure and fasten this wood to the ship. Very interesting. And here we've got some information about the Universal Savage Com Salvage Company. Here are some Spanish coins and other items from 1715 sunken treasure ships. And now we're going to go up to the observation deck and check this place out. This place is so cool. It's one of these places hidden off the A1A highway. And you got to come down here and check it out for yourself. Let's get going onward and forward. Forward and onward. Look at this. Here is the observation deck here. And they've even got a ship wheel. A flag with the skull. And here's some information about the Spanish treasure ships. One of the reasons this place is called the Treasure Coast, from the ships that have sank out there in the Atlantic Ocean with all the treasures. Beautiful Atlantic Ocean and the Treasure Coast of Florida. Here's a look at the survivors and salvage camp of August 10th, 1715. An estimated 1,500 men and women and children survived. And they had to gather here and build temporary shelter and wells for water. They had to deal with mosquitoes, sand flies, day and night. What I love about the museum is that this little find, the artifact, is something that I did with my grandchildren uh, two years ago because they came here and they were bored silly and they wanted to go home and I said help me put this find the artifact together and what it does is that each item of the 19 items are in each of the different uh, displays so they have to go to all, all, all nine displays and what it does is it gives you an opportunity to interface with them and there's information there they're not going to retain any of it. The only thing they're going to remember is they did it, and at the end he's going to get a little silver real, okay? And he may or may not even remember that, but he's going to get a piece of treasure. Every kid that's come through has remembered and told us this is what they remember. All nine. You, you found all nine? Yes. Wow. Do you want to go get some treasure? Yes. Yes? The 1960s is when Mel Fisher was here, who found the Atosha. Right. And uh, this is why we're called the Treasure Coast. I find it fascinating because the treasure is important, and this is what uh, the king was interested in the gold and the silver and the jewels. But in my mind's eye, the real treasure here was not that. The real treasure was the trade goods. And the trade goods were uh, on these ships being brought back to Spain. And this is what Spain used to trade in Europe. And the Americas were the supplier of silver, 100% to the Asian market, but also were the primary supplier of silver in, uh, uh, in, the, in, in Europe. And what happened is that when this treasure ship, ship sunk, they actually went into a recession because Spain didn't have the silver, and about 95% of all the silver was actually used in trade with Europe, there was no silver. Mm. Therefore, Europe went into recession because they didn't have the power 
and the finance is coming from Spain. Uh, and that's what I find so interesting because Spain, for 250 years, actually uh, started and monopolized world global trade. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little visit here to the McClarity Treasure Museum here in Vero Beach, Florida. A lot of information, a lot of history, and right out there in the Atlantic Ocean is some treasure ships that are sunk. You can go search for some treasure, folks. If you've got the tools, you've got the knowledge, why not? Go search for some treasure. I hope you're happy, healthy, taking care of yourself. Watch more videos. And what is it I always say? Oh, that's right. We will see you soon.